Hi, Stampers. So are you wanting to do a cute interactive card that both adults and kids would both love? What about a shaker card? Um, we're going to be using this Whale of a Time suite today, and we're going to mix it up with a few other things that are from a couple of other things that were out last Christmas. Welcome to Stampin' with Diane. I'm Diane Evans, and I'm an independent Canadian Stampin' Up! demonstrator. So if you found me on the YouTube channel, I'm so glad that you did find me. But make sure that you do subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you do see every time that I upload a new video. I do different types of videos. I do back to basic videos. I do card sketch videos. And today we're going to actually do a shaker card. Now this suite is so dang cute. Um, just, and I, I got it out on the paper. This paper itself is amazing. Like, I, I was first drawn to this one, and then it's got other ones with the tortoises on there, and it's got really cute seahorses on there. It, it's just so cute. And then, of course, they have the most beautiful, beautiful colors that go along with it. You have your balmy blue, blackberry bliss. You have also a coordinating color is the bliss, or the bumblebee, clipso coral, granny apple green, and then the new just jade, pacific point, pool party, peacock and shaded spruce so if you like greens this is a sweet for you and you know it's funny I'm not I've never really been much into these kind of cutesy things but this one it's just so cute all right so you have that you also have this really cute stamp set it has like the tortoise the whale the coral and all the sea stuff in there and bubbles and the jellyfish and everything else and then of course it also has a bundle that cuts out the whale now if you do buy this as a bundle you do save 10 percent so that's always a really great deal to go um, together on so you have those and then what we're going to do is we are mixing it up with something from the christmas catalog that carried over and that's the snow globes because we're going to use this as a shaker card instead of going and possibly using just window sheets with it. And we're using the snow globe seams. So I'll show you how we're gonna use those, incorporate those in there as well. Now what you're going to, oh, it also has these sequins. And these sequins, I gotta show you, they're just the cutest thing. And they have in here, they have seashells in there. And they're really, really neat how, um, you know, I just have to adjust this a little bit. We're having issues with my stand here. Okay, so, and it has little seashells in there. And uh, yeah, it's so cute. All right, so we're gonna be using those as well. Other things in the suite are, is this ribbon. It's the Pool Party Sheer Ribbon. We're not using that today. And another thing that's in the suite is the embossing folder. It's a beautiful embossing folder. Um, and it has, you know, like all, under the sea, like the seabed. And it's, it's really, really a pretty one as well. But, okay, so let's go ahead and make this shaker card. So this is the card that we're actually doing. And you see what I mean by with adults that, like myself, I keep playing with shaking it and everything else. Now, I use this particular um, paper on this one. There's tortoise that you could use for that. Here's another one that you could use on the bottom. You could use this, it might be a bit busy. But here's another one on the bottom, and we're going to actually use this one today. So I'll just show you, it'll be a little bit different of a look. So what you're going to need here is your pear pizzazz. It's five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And we're just gonna go in and use my bone folder on that. And these measurements will all be connected to my blog down below. I'll have all, a link to directly to my blog. I'm also using Pretty Peacock in here, and that's four by five and a quarter. And then I've cut this piece down, I've cut it down to three, in, no, five inches by three and three quarter inches, and it's gonna go there. We have some scrap of the Pretty Peacock, some scrap Whisper White, and the window sheets as well. Now the window sheets we're gonna end up cutting down anyways. So now, I, from doing this, I learned a lot of different things that you really, there's other things that you really need to do um, before you go to cut this out. And I found that if 
it, it was really annoying once I put that dome on. But what we're going to do first is we're going to figure out where this, where we're going to actually put this dome. So I'm going to bring in that die, which is the snow globe die. And I'm going to figure out where I want to cut it. Do I want to cut it on this side? Do I want to cut it on this side? What do you think? Um, you know what? I think I'm going to do it on this side. Switch it up a little bit. So I've got my big shot. I'm so excited to get my new cut and emboss machine. Um, as a demonstrator, I get to get that next month. And I'm so excited about that. I'm going to actually move that up just a little bit, and I'm hoping I've got enough room. I think the one that I used before was one of the better ones to use. And I'm just going to run that through. Oops, let's just get that out for a bit here. And we're just going to do it like this. Now, I've done this a little bit different than some of the shaker cards. And the reason being is because I wanted some images in the, the globe part itself. And the reason being is this is kind of reminds me of when I've gone to the aquarium in the summertime. Okay, so we've got that put there. Now, I've got these other images. The whale I've got, uh, let's see. In here, we have this tortoise. So let's go ahead and we'll use that tortoise there. And I am going to stamp him in, I've got some certainly, certainly or a pair of pizzazz, we're certainly Sally. Where'd that come from? That was a really old color. I think because we were doing a retirement, a huge retirement sale yesterday that the shades of the past are coming in. So all I've done is I've got it in the pear pizzazz and I have a sponge dauber and this is pretty peacock. And what I wanna do is I just wanna dab around the outside of this. So I want a two-tone tortoise. All right. And we're going to actually put him kind of going off to the side there. Okay. There we go. And there's little fish also in this stamp set. So I'm going to stamp the fish as well. I gotta see which way they're actually going. Okay, they're going that way. So I'm going to just have them come across here. They're like a school of fish. So could even go up there like that. And we might even want maybe something down here. Okay. And then we're going to also, let's see, what else did I put? I put some coral on there, but this coral, there's quite a bit of coral on there, so I think I'm going to leave that. I am going to put these bubbles on there. I think they might be, like, up above the tortoise itself. Oops, bubbles. There we go. And, you know, bubbles there. And then there's also um, a seahorse. I think this guy's so cute. Oh, I'm getting just covered here. Let's see. Um, let's see. I think I'll put him in. Let's try him in pair pizzazz. And they usually go in a couple, right? Don't stand very good up there. And there. And you know what? I'm going to clean that one off. And then I'm going to put them also in another one there. And I know it looks kind of busy, but the ocean bottom looks kind of busy in itself, right? Oh, and you know what? I also did a jellyfish on this one, but I don't know if I should do a jellyfish. I think there's an awful lot of stuff on there. I think I'm going to leave the jellyfish off. We'll see how that looks. And then I'm going to come in with the, the whale. And I'll show you some parts on that whale. So I have the whale here, and we're just going to put them on to the block. And I have a spare piece of spare piece of the whisper white. And I probably should have had my paper piercing mat below, but I'm 
washed up pretty good, actually. So I'm just going to go in and punch him out. Then I'm going to show you some of the other things that are on there. This is the the thing from, like, when they shoot from the spout. But I want to have this, and this is actually, and I'm going to actually punch an, or stamp another one of these whales. And I'm going to go in, and this belly is, I just want some dimension on it, so I'm going to go in, and I'm probably going to have to cut this down. Let's see. Let's cut this off like this. I want this part here, and it's the belly. Oops. Let's see, I have that where... We'll just take this off here. And I want that stamped as well in, in there, but I don't want it stamped so that it's exactly the same. So I'm just going and doing no, that part of the belly, so that's there. And then I'm also going to take, this is the fin. I'm just gonna cut one of those out as well. Um, when you have punches and you do a lot of punch art and that sort of stuff, you can get quite detailed with it, but I didn't want to get too detailed, that's for sure. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take in a small dimensional, and I'm going to just pop that part off of here. You see it's going to be a little bit different on there, so. And then I'm also going to come in with my mono glue, mono adhesive glue. I'm just putting some on the end because I don't want it to pop up all the way across. So let's go ahead and put that on there. It's just gonna go on there and that's gonna lay down flat. And then this fin is just going to go just right behind here. So I'm just gonna go in with the glue again. You know, I, I really do like glue, but I don't like what it does to my fingers, that's for sure. All right. Whoops. Should have gone this way. There we go. So there's our whale. And he's so easy to punch out. Um, all right. So let's put the rest of the... Oh, and one other thing. I got a little carried away. I don't know if I'll be able to punch this or stamp that on there. So let's just see. Um, just go on here and put this whale done. We'll see if it fits on that part there. If not, I'll just grab another scrap. I didn't have one here. I'm just going to put that on there. That wasn't very good. I'll just grab another piece of Whisper White. Here we go. And I'm just going to just cut around here with this. Um, there wasn't anything to really punch out like to make it so it was a shape. So this is really nice when you can just freehand cut it. So there we go there. All right. So I think we're ready to put this thing together now. So let's just put this part onto the card and I'm using my seal and I knew I was going to run out of that. So I'll just come in with my seal plus. And just put this onto here. And then what I did was I attached the window sheet. No, I didn't do that yet. I, I've got my, I want to put this and have it right behind here. So I'm just going to take 
this off. This adhesive part, we're doing it just to the front. And we're just going to put that right in there. And just press it down. And then I took my embossing buddy and I made sure that I got it really good and embossed on there. This is beautiful paper even on the back. And then what I did was I went and I took my window sheet. Where is my window sheet? Um, first of all, we're going to put some of these in there. You never know how many to put in, but you don't want not enough. So let's just check that. Yeah, that's pretty good. Now we want to get all those cute shells in there as well. Oh my goodness. Static. Okay. Uh, another pinch just for good. Okay. And put the lid on there because I know my luck. Okay, then we're going to take the window sheet and it, we're actually, see, we're gonna take this part off first, all of this stick part. And I had cut this for something else at one point, so just have to go in and get this off. like making things a little bit more difficult. But no, I'd done this actually with these um, snow globes. What I'd done last Christmas was I had done snow globe class and we did we filled it with water. And um, some of us were successful in it and other ones that once they got the glue on it, it wasn't as successful. So um, because they got water on the glue. And then all I'm doing is I'm just taking this window sheet I'm going to rub it with the embossing buddy. You can take anything that's an anti-static. You could take um, even dryer sheets and you could put that in there. So we'll put this down. I knew that that static was going to come up there. And we've got it where it's gaped a little bit. We don't want that to happen. We want it to be flat. Okay. So now, see how that is like that? Now, if we had just done that like that, we would have had it where um, it wasn't, you know, we couldn't put the background behind. And then all I did was I actually trimmed this off and you're not going to see this at the back. So I just went and I took my paper snips and not that I really have to, um, I just trimmed it off. Just because I don't need that extra bulk. And I just trimmed it off. I didn't want any of that also showing above any of this, so. Okay. And then what I did was I took this piece here and I attached it. So now you can see how I've got that scene behind there. Okay. So how I attached that was I did I did use glue dots and there we go there are glue dots and what I wanted to do was I just put these glue dots in spots where you probably would wouldn't see them the glue dot there. And then we're just going to, if I can, I can turn this over. And now it just fits right on there. And there we've got the back part. And it shows with the tortoise behind there. It's got the fish behind there and everything else. And now I can go ahead and put this on. Now you can see why you have to do your stamping before. Because when I went to go do this, I couldn't get my fish close enough there. So that's the reason why that's done. All right, so I'm just going to go in with my seal plus. And I can attach it there as well. 
Okay. I think I might have overdone it with that seal, but that's okay. It's really nice and adhesive, or really strong adhesive, so put there. Okay, so now we're just going to put our whale, and I'm gonna have him, he can't really be at the bottom of the sea, so we've gotta do him up at the top. Now, I could do him up here, but that would wreck the card there. So I'm actually just going to put him right about there. And I'm gonna pop him up with dimensionals. I think this is gonna be a fun card to send to my grandson. I think he'll really get a kick out of this. There, and then I have my whale done. And we can put that right down there. And I'm gonna pop him up also with dimensionals. Just one, I think, is all I need. So I hope you enjoyed that card. Um, if you did like it, give me the thumbs up. Or better yet, um, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel? I do do a variety of videos on there. Um, and this, like I say, is not a normal card for me to do, but I really like this paper so much that I just had to go ahead and do that. Now, if you do live in Canada and you don't have a demonstrator, I would love to be your demonstrator. Um, I This is my host code for this month. And if you do purchase anything from my online store, I do have a tutorial that I give away each and every month. Um, next month, we have a mega tutorial coming, so I'm quite excited about that. Um, but anyways, if there's, you know, anything that you'd like, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask any questions. I do come back to my YouTube channel, and I do answer those questions. So have a great day. Thanks for stopping by. Bye for now.